Harvest of Thanks is brought to you by John Deere. Your land, your brand. Technology, equipment, and support to help you farm better now and generations from now. Well, this time of year, you'll see fall fertilizer applications across the countryside. Much of that here in the Midwest is in hydrous ammonia. To wrap up our Harvest of Thanks show this weekend, we have an exclusive look into an hydrous ammonia accident that happened in rural America a year ago and the miracle that followed. It was calm across these Iowa fields on November 19th. It was a Sunday, and Kendra Vanderleest says here in central Iowa, it seemed prime for fall field work. Before lunch, he decided it was fit to pull ammonia. And about 7.30 that night, she heard the tractor crawling toward the house, thinking it meant Joe was calling it quits for the night. Just happened to look up out and out the window, and I saw the tractor and a plume of anhydrous smoke. I knew it was Joe. I knew instantly it was Joe. She rushed to grab her phone. And she said she was full of fear. Knowing she would call and Joe might not even be alive to answer, she called anyway. I think it was Joe. All I can say was help me. I hung up and called 911. Um, but I knew by the way he said help me that he was badly hurt. Kendra says she found Joe crawling on this gravel about 200 yards from where the tractor had stopped. And he was fighting for his life. As soon as he heard me, he just collapsed. He didn't have any burns on his skin, so the water didn't really do any good. There was nothing for me to dump the water on, but he, all of his burns were all internal. Oh, the bad look burned inside. As Kendra was driving to the hospital, she still didn't know what had just transpired in the field. All she knew is Joe was applying in hydrous, something he's done for nearly 30 years. And when I was turning on the corner, the left front tire, of twin tank must have ran over my hose and then it broke the front valve or pulled the threads out and it came apart. The whole field was turning fog and I'm like, I got to uh, go to plan B. I do not know what to do. That's when Joe decided his only option was to head toward the house, all while he couldn't see and he was losing oxygen to breathe. I lost where I was at. I just drove by. Feel. Somehow he made it past, and at that point, the smoke cleared enough to see the gravel road. I'd, I'd only pulled 1.1 acres off that tank, so I knew that sucker had a lot of anhydrous in it, and it kept blowing at the tractor. And I was so scared to get out, but I knew I had because my only choice. He says he threw on a sweatshirt he had with him and grabbed a bottle of water he knew he had on the floor. And after he climbed out, he tried to run toward the house, but ran out of air. And I went down and I started crawling. Once Joe was airlifted, Kendra says she still didn't know if Joe was going to survive. Joe spent 10 days in the hospital, but the real work for Kendra started when they sent Joe home. In this Christmas miracle, Joe knows Kendra is his angel. She saved me. There's no doubt in my mind. Survival that's also thanks to Kendra, who's cherishing the fact she can celebrate this Christmas with all their family.